So as the set H sub P is a three-dimensional vector space, over the field of real numbers, we can consider this set as the coordinate space R3. Now I have referred to this set as the set of pure quaternions to distinguish it from the set of pure scalars, H sub naught, but a better, more universal term for this set is the set of purely imaginary quaternions. And this comes from an analogy with the complex numbers, an analogy that we will uh, make here shortly. So notice that the cross product is defined for the vectors in the set of purely imaginary quaternions. Further, the set of purely imaginary quaternions is closed under the cross product Now, in contrast, the set of pure scalars, or pure real numbers, is closed under the dot product. So let's look at an example of the cross product. A basis for the set of purely imaginary quaternions considered as the coordinate space R3 is the set B containing the vectors I, J, and K, where the vector I is the ordered triple 1, 0, 0, the vector J is the ordered triple 0, 1, 0, and the vector k is the ordered triple 0, 0, 1. So first we'll compute the cross product i cross j, and we'll look at it first com uh, component wise. So the first component of i cross j is epsilon sub 1, and I'll use the indices r and s. The R component of the vector I times the S component of the vector J. Now in this permutation the uh, indices R and S range from 2 and 3. Both the second and third component of the vector I are 0 and so this is equivalent to epsilon sub 1 RS 0 times the S component of the vector J, which is 0. The second component of I cross J is epsilon sub 2 R S, the R component of vector I times the S component of vector J. And in this permutation, the indices R and S range from 1 uh, and 3. Both the first and third component of the vector j are 0, and so this is equivalent to epsilon sub 2 r s, the r component of vector i times 0, which is 0. And so now we look at the third component of i cross j. This is epsilon sub 3 r s, the r component of vector i times the S component of vector J. 
And in this uh, permutation, the even permutation is 3, 1, 2, while the odd permutation is 3, 2, 1. And so this is the difference of products. The first component of vector i times the second component of vector j minus the second component of vector i times the first component of vector j. And so this is 1 times 1 minus 0 times 0, which is 1. And so the cross product, i cross j, is the ordered triple 0, 0, 1, which is the vector k. Notice that this is the same as i times j in the entire set of quaternions. Similarly, i cross k is the vector negative j, which is the same as i times k in the uh, entire set of quaternions. j cross i is the vector negative k, which is the same as j times i in the entire set of quaternions. j cross k is the vector i, which is the same as j times k in the entire set of quaternions. k cross i is the vector j, which is the same as k times i in the entire set of quaternions. And finally, k cross j is the vector negative i, which is the same as k times j in the entire set of quaternions. So the difference uh, is when we take the cross product of uh, identical unit vectors. i cross i is the same as j cross j, which is the same as k cross k, which is the zero vector. So let x be a quaternion, and we will consider uh, the set of quaternions as the algebraic extension of the reals. Then, the quaternion x is of the form x of naught plus x of 1 times i plus x of 2 times j plus x of 3 times k. Now notice that we can consider the quaternion x as consisting of two components, a purely real component and a purely imaginary component. And so we can consider the uh, quaternion x as consisting of a scalar x of naught and a three-dimensional vector x, where the real part of the quaternion x is the scalar x of naught, and the imaginary part of the quaternion x is the three-dimensional vector x. So let x and y be two quaternions, again, considering the set of quaternions as the algebraic extension of the reals. Define multiplication x times y as the product of the quantity x of naught plus the three-dimensional vector x times the quantity y sub naught plus the three-dimensional vector y. We define multiplication so that the distributive law holds, and so we have x sub naught times y sub naught plus y sub naught times the vector x plus x sub naught times the vector y, plus the product of two three-dimensional vectors, x and y, where this product of the three-dimensional vectors, x and y, is the cross product of x and y minus the dot product of x and y. Then the real 
part of the product, x times y, is the scalar, x sub naught times y sub naught minus the dot product of x and y, which we can call the scalar z sub naught. The imaginary part of the product of x and y is the vector y sub naught times the vector x plus x sub naught times the vector y plus the cross product of x and y which we can call the vector z and so the product of x and y is the sum of a scalar z sub naught plus a three-dimensional vector z which is once again a quaternion and so the set of quaternions is closed under uh, multiplication as defined. However, the uh, multiplication is not commutative. Notice that the real part of the product y times x is x sub naught times y sub naught minus the dot product y dot x which, since the dot product is commutative, is the same as x sub naught times y sub naught minus the dot product x dot y, which is the same as the real part of the product x times y. Now the imaginary part of the product y times x is the vector y sub naught times the vector x plus x sub naught times the vector y plus the cross product y cross x. Now the uh, cross product is anti-commutative and so this is the same as the scalar y sub naught times the vector x plus x sub naught times the vector y minus the cross product x cross y, and so this is not equal to the imaginary part of the product x times y. So as multiplication of quaternions is not commutative, The set of quaternions is not a field as the quaternions without the additive identity under multiplication is not an abelian group. Now later when we study ring theory in, in uh, detail, we will show that the quaternions is a uh, division ring, but is not a commutative division ring. But for now, notice how uh, efficient and easy to remember this definition of multiplication is. So let's look at some examples. So let the set of quaternions be the set of elements of the form x sub naught plus a vector x where x sub naught is a real number and the vector x is in the set h sub p that is a purely imaginary uh, quaternion, a three-dimensional vector. Then we look at the product i times j. This is the product of the uh, quantity 0 plus the three-dimensional vector i times the quantity 0 plus the three-dimensional vector j. And so this is the product of the three-dimensional vector i times the three-dimensional vector j, which is the cross product of i and j minus the dot product of i and j. 
which is the three-dimensional vector k minus the scalar zero, and this is equivalent to the quaternion k. I squared is the product of the quantity zero plus the three-dimensional vector i times the quantity zero plus the three-dimensional vector i, which is the three-dimensional vector i times itself, which is the three-dimensional vector i cross the three-dimensional vector i minus the dot product of the three-dimensional vector i with itself, which is the zero uh, vector minus one, which is equivalent to the quaternion minus one, or the scalar minus one. And more generally, a quaternion x squared is the product of the quantity x sub naught plus the vector x times the quantity x sub naught plus the vector x, which is x sub naught squared plus 2 times x sub naught times the vector x plus the product of the vector x with itself, the three dimensional vector x with itself which is x of naught squared plus 2 times x of naught times the vector x plus the cross product of the vector x with itself minus the dot product of the vector x with itself. The cross product of any vector, three-dimensional vector with itself is the zero vector and so this is x of naught squared minus the dot product of three-dimensional vector x with itself plus two times the scalar x of naught times the vector x. And so we have x of naught squared minus x of 1 squared minus x of 2 squared minus x of 3 squared. And this is the scalar part plus 2 times x of naught times the vector x. Okay, so new definition. Once again, let the set of quaternions be the set of all elements x of naught plus a vector x, where x of naught is a real number, and the vector x is a three-dimensional vector. The conjugate of the quaternion x, which is x of naught plus a three-dimensional vector x, is the quaternion x bar, which is x of naught minus the three-dimensional vector x. So just as complex numbers have conjugates, a uh, quaternion also has a conjugate. So let's look at multiplication of a uh, quaternion with its conjugate. So again, let the set of quaternions be the set of all elements x of naught plus a vector x, where x of naught is a real number, and x, the vector x is a purely ima imaginary uh, quaternion. Then, a, uh, a quaternion x times its conjugate is the product of the quantity x of naught plus the vector x times the quantity x of naught minus the vector x which is x of naught squared minus the product of the vector x with itself which is x of naught squared minus the cross product of the vector x with itself plus the dot product of the vector x with itself. Again the uh, product cross product of a three-dimensional vector with itself is the zero vector and so we have x of naught squared plus the dot product of the vector x with itself which is x of naught squared plus x of one squared plus x of two squared plus x of three squared. 